Although Microsoft has been delivering mapping services to organizations big and small for more than 10 years, a lot of people are beginning to look at things afresh thanks to Bing Maps. By way of welcome, we're making it much easier for developers to get on board. From today, not-for-profits and educator websites can use Bing Maps for free. If your site uses up to 125,000 visits to your mapping each year, you can use it for free too. And whatever you're doing, you can get started for free, whether you're tracking hurricanes or just making sure people make it home safely. Today also represents another chapter in our platform with the launch of the Silverlight Map Control. Our community has been hammering it for the last few months, really pushing the innovation on it, uh, giving us feedback on performance and other great innovations we've made. Uh, so thank you to that community for helping make the Silverlight Map Control what it is. Uh, you're going to hear from some of the people who work on that back at Microsoft Head Office, and you're also going to hear from some of the people who are on board with Bing Maps already. The main themes of this release, we've got uh, improved performance, um, and that, that involves in, you know, distributed data centers across the world to improve uh, the, 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 the round-trip times to our controls and services. Uh, we have uh, in simplicity and ease of ramp up with our new uh, Bing, Bing Maps account center, which is coming. So you can just sign in, get an account, and get an access key to use our services and controls. Um, and on, on top of that, we also have the, uh, yeah, the Bing Maps Silverlight control, which is production ready today. In our previous release, we actually put the content of the tiles in the control out on right. the, uh, the CDN. But now we're activating the DCN and putting the dynamic computer in play. That's, that's right. So we, the, the whole platform from dynamic services to controls to static content, you know, we'll see performance benefits. It comes down to quality of mapping content. I mean, Bing Maps is first rate, top out there. It's performance. Uh, Bing Maps are served up over Microsoft's content delivery network. So it's really the best performance out there. The Superlight Control is uh, what we're releasing in production is a, it's a Superlight 3 based control, which is written all managed code. On top of that, you got the, the performance of Silverlight with uh, deep zoom. We're using the uh, multi-scale image control, which has blending of imagery. So as you zoom in with the control, you have this nice, rich, interactive experience. And you can see the image layers blend together, and you get a nice, a nice effect. When we show the customers Bing Maps, they are blown away by the way that we can zoom in and out, and that the Silverlight technology uh, scales the tiles on the fly so that when we're zooming in and out of the maps they're not waiting for the page to refresh Silverlight's actually doing all that work for us on the client it's also pretty powerful the way we can integrate other Silverlight applications into the maps so it's a very very rich unique user experience the multimedia integration is excellent actually because with this new control effectively you can put any Silverlight UI element or drive class directly onto the map at, at the coordinates that you choose with the new Silverlight control version it's a much richer user interface, we can add more, far more data than we could previously add with the JavaScript version. For example, with the Pelican site, you know, we're tracking live 15 boats with video streams, live GPS, the complete tracking, all overlaying, and you can mouse over the controls, pop up, you know, thumbnails of live footage from the boats, etc. So it's a, very, it's a much richer and it's more stable as well because it's run, not running actually in the browser, it's actually running within Silverlight. We're saying it's very difficult to get um the audience uh, out on the water to actually view the racing. So uh, what we're trying to do is actually bring the, uh, the racing closer to the audience. Our experience of mapping has been that for smaller commercial organisations, they've really struggled to justify the spend and the cost of entry of getting mapping on their website, knowing that they then need to spend as well to develop that, to make it a useful experience for their customers. Well, the Microsoft free licence means that the money that was allocated to um, mapping licence and mapping development, more of that budget now can be allocated to um, technical developments for the system, uh, enhancing the user experience and developing more a more feature-rich mapping system. What we've realised is that um, mapping is developing very rapidly. Bing Map seems to be at the forefront of that technology. It's a really robust platform and it seems to have a lot of commitment behind it to invest it for the future. We're going to be very aggressively using maps for our core business and we need a system that can cope with um, the changes that we want to make and the developments that we want to put forward to our audience and Bing just seemed the ideal platform.